Taoiseach, from July 2015, lone parents with children aged seven and older will no longer be entitled to the one parent uh, family payment. Now, this has become known as the Burton Cut, uh, but more than that, it's a very brutal cut that's going to plunge thousands more children into consistent poverty, on top of all the other cuts that have, have affected lone parent families. Up to 30,000 lone parent families will be affected by this particular move. Thousands of those will have severe income reductions as a result, some losing up to €140 Euros per week. Others, for example, lone parent working 20 hours a week on a minimum wage will face a cut of €108 Euros, um, a week. I don't understand how the government can even contemplate introducing such a measure at the end of this month. And Tishuk, you would know, and I think Fintan O'Toole put it very well in his article this morning in the Irish Times, that lone parents can't ditch a child uh, and go off to work without access uh, to education, childcare and a stable job with a living wage. And this cut comes on top of a whole series of welfare cuts that have affected families and low-income families in particular and lone parent families. The back-to-school allowance was cut by one-third, the payments there. There was the, the income disregard for lone parent families cut by 147 a week to 90 euros um, a week. CE schemes gutted, which were availed of quite significantly by lone parent families. Uh, there, there have been taxation changes that have impacted particularly hard on uh, separated and lone parent families. And then the issue of access to education has not improved and we have no Scandinavian childcare model. And the result of all of this is consistent child poverty increasing from about 6.8% in 2008 to almost double now 12% uh, in 2013. And the policy is not working, Taoiseach. It's not getting lone parents back to work. It's having the opposite impact and it's driving people in further and further out of work and into poverty, because Taoiseach, 60 per cent of lone parents were getting, uh, who were getting Thank the one-parent family payment um, were working part-time outside the home back in 2012. In 2014, that's gone down to 36 per cent. A simple question, Taoiseach, will you reverse this policy? Will the government reverse it, and will you stop its implementation at the commencement of July? Thank you. Taoiseach. No, it's not intended to reverse it, uh, Deputy Martin, uh, and I'll explain to you why. Uh, the government have a, have a particular um, programme here to make work pay. We cannot allow a situation in an, an economy that's recovering like ours uh, to bypass thousands of families who are locked into jobless households. That's been one of, the real, one of the real difficulties for so many families. And those jobless households with children are at a particular risk of perp uh, perpetuating a cycle of, of, uh, of poverty that goes on from generation to generation. And the purpose of the phased uh, scheme here is to reduce long-term social welfare dependency, uh, a factor with, with which I'm sure you agree. Since this scheme was introduced back in 1997, until the end of 2010, recipient numbers increased by 50% and an annual expenditure increased by 772 million every year. So despite the significant levels of involvement at Count Corla, of investment, in excess of over a billion per annum, 1,000 million from 2008 to 2012, it has not been successful in preventing lone parents being significantly more at risk of consistent poverty uh, compared to the population as a whole. In 2004, lone parents were more than four and a half times at risk of consistent poverty when compared with the remainder of the population. That's not something we can stand over. And prior to the reforms, lone parents Sorry. could have been prior to the reforms, lone parents could have been on the scheme until their youngest child turned 18 years of age or 22 years of age if they were in full-time education. So the non-conditionality nature of this payment, coupled with its very long duration, endangered many lone parents and their children to long-term dependency on welfare, which is not a good position to be in. Now, Ireland's supports for lone parents have been have been out of line with international norms, where there has been a movement away from long-term and non-conditional support towards a much more supportive um, uh, approach to dealing with this. In New Zealand and the Netherlands, for instance, the equivalent lone parent uh, supports cease when the youngest child reaches the age of five years. Uh, 
the evidence clearly indicates Sorry, you, that despite you, the investment, quiet, please, it was not, successful, Thank you. was not successful in addressing the risk of poverty uh, and may have been contributing to the welfare dependency trap uh, for many of those people. Um, it is anticipated, Deputy Martin, that approximately 30,200 recipients will transition out of this payment on the 2nd of July 2015. And of these, 20,000 parents will experience no change in income uh, or will gain after the transition, 20,000 of them. The gain for individuals will be in the range of €10 Euro to €150 Euro per week, depending on their level of earnings and of the number of children that they have. The remaining 10,000 Deputy Martin who are in employment and based on their current circumstances will have an incentive to increase the numbers of hours that they work. And of these 10,000, approximately 6,000 lone parents will have an immediate incentive to increase their number of hours worked to 19 in order to claim family income supplement Thank you. and back to work family dividend. And these individuals will Thank be you, better off financially than in their current position. And many of those parents in this position may be able to increase their hours to 19 per week or four per day, given that their youngest child will still be at school. And the positive impact has been evident from the increase in new family income supplement applications from loan parents who were affected by these reforms from well, uh, in both July 2013 and July 2014. Well the incentive is there to be able to draw uh, down Thank the you, family income supplement and to be better off than, the, uh, than, the, uh, than their current position. So 20,000 will either have no change or be better off, and the remaining 10,000 have this incentive to increase, to increase their income, to increase the number of hours that they work, be eligible to draw fists or back to work dividend, and therefore be better off. Deputy Martin. Tisha, Sorry, Tisha, would you, you should, stay quiet, Deputy, please? Tisha, Deputy you should, Martin's you should put those written notes aside that someone gives to you to read out in answer to a leader's question. And go out and meet the people who are being affected. Get back in touch. You're out of touch. And you're completely d detached from the reality on the ground. The policy is not working. In 2012, 60% of lone parent families on the one family payment were actually at work, outside of the home. What's the figure in 2014? It's 36%. It's not working. And it's counterintuitive. <coughs> it's those who are actually at work that are losing most out of this and are, are being absolutely hammered as a result of this particular measure. So it's those at work currently who are lone parents who are being hammered because of this measure. And Tishik, I want to put to you what Minister Burton said. Not so long ago, she said, I will only proceed with the measures to reduce the upper age limit to seven years in the event that I get a credible and bankable commitment on the delivery of such a system of childcare enjoyed by the Scandinavians by the time of this year's budget. If this is not forthcoming, the measure will not proceed. End of quote. Willie O'Dea, Deputy Willie O'Dea asks recently in the Doyle Minister about this commitment she made and promised, and she replies, quote, with regards to childcare, the delivery and expansion of childcare services is the responsibility of the Department of Children and Youth <laughs> Affairs, end of quote. Thank you. Do you accept that, and I know I can't use the word lie, but I'll use the word, it's a broken promise. It's not a basic untruth. And would you accept, Taoiseach, that... Tornishta has reneged on a very cast iron commitment she gave to the Doyle and to the public and to the various lone parent family organisations who represent them that she would not introduce this measure that she's introducing in, 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 a, in a couple of weeks' time uh, unless there was a Scandinavian type childcare model. We don't Thank have you. that, we know that. Isn't that a broken promise? Thank would you, you accept that she's reneged on her commitment and the policy is clearly not working? I can't believe that the leader of the Fianna Fáil party, um, who, who has had a long experience in here, is content to leave many lone parents wallowing in uh, a poverty trap that they have an incentive to get out of and that they can be better off. That they can be better off they can be better off under the new transition arrangements. But let me just say to you again. Sorry, would you please? Let me just say to you again. It's a normal basic manners that you allow the person to ask the question and then reply. It's not your question, Deputy. Please stay quiet. The, the position is that uh, 30,200 will be affected by the transition. 
you say the policy is not working, and it's not working because people are locked into a poverty trap. And the opportunity here is to get out of that poverty trap, uh, increase their benefit, increase their income, and have a better life. Of 20,000, as I said, will, will experience no change or be better off. The, the, the remaining 10,000 have the opportunity uh, to either work more hours and be eligible to draw fists or back to work dividend. Well, that's a fact, Deputy. That's a fact, Deputy. For instance, an example, an example of, of the kind of gain that you can have here, a lone parent with one child who increases her work from 15 hours to 20 hours per week at the national minimum wage, uh, which the government are now examining in terms of a report, and claims fists for the first time. She is going to be 38 euro better off. Now, are you, are you seriously saying to that lone parent Thank you. That, that, you, that you are prepared to stand by a position where she can be better off, but you won't allow her to do that? Thank you, Tisha. She may also, Deputy Martin, she may also, she may, she may also, Deputy Martin, be entitled to claim the back-to-work family dividend for each additional child that they have, increasing their income by a further 30 euro per week per child, so almost 68 Eight euro a week in total, where the lone parent has one child. Now, there's, a, there's a, an absolute example of how a lone parent Thank with you. one child can actually be 68 euro better off uh, than, than the current position. Now, if you don't believe that, you go and talk to them, because I do, and that's why that's why you need an incentive for people who are locked Deputy into Adams. a welfare trap, generation after generation, to get out of that and be able to have the opportunity to earn more. Provide more for their families and so be better off.